joining us welcome and yeah so as you can see I just finished cleaning my bathroom it is like nine o'clock at night y'all I just got home not too long ago from my dad's house today is his birthday happy birthday daddy and um so yeah just came home not too long ago so I just wanted to straighten up now I'm in my closet because it's a hot mess y'all my stuff still has not come from Ikea um not even that it hasn't come it's not even in the stores like what is <sighs> y'all we've been here for a year and a half and my closet is still a hot mess a hot mess so let me show you guys what i what i mean okay let me just show you real quick i'm gonna take y'all off the tripod so y'all can see so keep in mind y'all i i told you it's it's a hot mess because i'm about to clean it but anyway so as you can see i'm missing my shelf i need a glass shelf here um Actually, I need a pull-out and a glass shelf there. And then over here, this is still my Target thing, my Target um, shelves. And I'm supposed to get like a corner unit here to attach to this one here, which is, this is Ikea. But I'm supposed to get like a corner unit right here. And then I'm supposed to have another one of these right here but the size that i need is not in i do have the shelves but i don't have the stuff that i need and then over here he's pretty much done on his side because he didn't need a lot but he still needs a shelf up there and then he needs a shelf there like this, this is what i'm missing on my side i'm missing that the tray the pull out tray and the last shelf and then he's missing his shelf over here and a shelf at the top but he's pretty much done um on his side or he needs some shelves down there because i hate all that clutter so he needs some shelves down there um but yeah so he's pretty much done but me on the other hand not even close oh and i need some more shelves over here y'all when i say i am over it i'm about to just go to target and just and just finish up with Target shelves because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. But anyway, let me get to clean this. So it's it's so easy to like get cluttered and messy in here because I don't have anything to put stuff on. Or, you know, it's just, ugh, it's just so frustrating. But it is what it is. We're going to make it do what it do because that's all we can do. And yeah. So I'm getting ready to clean up in here. And yeah. When I go with confidence, when I go the way around like hips and take a sip on it, take a trip on it. When I go, you can go slow. Wind it up on night. Jam, 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 jam,
do you all ever get like the Sephora sample things with your orders in the mail? I ordered, um, I forgot what I ordered, but I ordered something and this came in the mail. So this came with my order and it's the Dior Forever Skin Glow, the foundation. I want to try it y'all. So yeah, I may try it while we're in this vlog. Um, we'll see, but yeah, I'm glad they sent this to me. And then it has like a lot of different color samples so I might be able to find my shade I might have to mix I don't know we'll see but yeah oh what y'all know about this oh my god it smells so good my husband bought it for me we went to the store and I smelled it and I was like oh my god I gotta have it so it's the Versace black diamond toilet and y'all it smells Oh, good. And look at the bottle. Look at the bottle, y'all. Like, what? <sighs> so pretty. Mmm. <sighs> it's like the perfect, perfect summer nighttime fragrance. I would definitely wear this at night. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely like floral. It's definitely like a floral scent. I will say that. So it does say floral scent. Um the notes are citron, orange blossom, amber wood. Um uh, what else? Pear so fresh pear sorbet, sparkling bergamot. And an accent of Neroli or Neroli. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. But y'all. Oh, if you. Mm. <laughs> it's definitely a scent that you can layer as well because it's light. But. I'm telling you, you if you don't have it, you need it. Go get it right now. Just go ahead. Go add that to your cart. Immediately, immediately. And see, I can't wait to have like my my stuff, my shelves, and everything, so I can like you know put my perfumes on display. I'm gonna order like the the tray off of Amazon and you know make it really pretty. But I'm not doing it until my stuff comes in. I'm not. This is another. Let me show y'all. This one right here is another favorite of mine. This is the Poison Dior. So good. Oh, so good. This is another one. This one actually, I feel like you could wear this one year round, honestly. Because it's light enough. I'm not sure what the notes are on this one. But it's so good. So good. And then this is my other favorite. This is the, the Dolce from Dolce and Cabana. So good. This one is a daytime. This is definitely a daytime summer scent. Summer spring. It's very light and airy. And I could definitely layer this one. You can layer this one too. Oh, this one and this one together. Oh, we're gonna try that. Matter of fact. Try it right now. Let's try it right now. I think that's gonna smell good. I let y'all know in about five minutes. <laughs> Give me five minutes, I'ma let y'all know. <sighs> yeah, that's a scent right there. That's definitely a scent. It's giving daytime, let's go on a picnic mm. and watch the watch the birds chirp and the flowers bloom. Yes.
this is just like where I keep like all my jewelry, like my everyday jewelry or whatever. So like my wedding rings, my um, toy brush bracelets, my hoops that I wear sometimes, not all the time. But like even like my diamond earrings that I wear. Um, just like everyday little gold jewelry that I wear. Um, and yeah. So this is where I keep this. So I need to put this somewhere where I can just like grab it. I'm trying to reorganize a little bit because I still think, you know, it doesn't look presentable. And I like coming in my closet and like, you know, feeling the vibes, even though they it's not even 80%, 50, 40% done. <laughs> but I don't know. I just like for it to look, you know, somewhat neat. So I need it, but I need it to make sense. It needs to be functional as well. So I need to figure out where I want to put this. I don't like it on this shelf here so i need to figure out where i want to put this because i need it to be accessible um because like i said this is where i grab my jewelry so maybe i'll put it on that shelf and i'll just move all this stuff down here because down here you guys can't see but down here i have like a um a shelf full of makeup stuff so i'll just move that down Y'all, and I love this. This is one of my favorite bags. The Coach, um, what was the name of this bag? I can't remember the name of it. But it is so cute, and I love the color. Um, I got it last year. It was really, really, oh, the Tabby. That's what it was called, the Tabby. Um, and it came in, like, a new color, black. And now they have it, like, it's like a tie-dye color that they have it in. So, yeah, um... I really, really love this bag. It's so cute. The leather is so soft. And, yeah, it's perfect for the summer. So, I think I showed it to you before in the vlog. But, yeah. So, I think I'm just going to move, like, my summertime bags up here. How do I want to do this, though? Like, how do I want to? I don't know. I want to do this. Oh, and then my other bag. So this is like my little straw bag from Zara. So cute. So cute. And then this is another bag. This is actually, I think you could actually wear this like in the fall, winter months too. But I really like this one for the summer. So this is um, the Brandon Blackwood bag bucket bag I don't want to put it up there because then it's going to smush the strap so where can I put it oh, where can I put it how does that look that looks stupid that looks stupid okay I gotta find some way for this bag I'm already over it y'all and this right here is my necklaces and another reason why I need my drawer so I can put my necklaces in the drawer and not hang it up on this stupid thing. <sighs> so irritated. How does this look up there? Oh, okay. I'm working it out, y'all. I'm working it out. Okay guys, so we're finally done. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of what I did. So just put my stuff away. Like y'all know I don't have a, a shelf for that. But anyway, over here I did organize it a little bit as best as I could. I just, you know, put all my summer bags together here. Uh, did my perfumes, my glasses, a couple of designer items right there. And then these are all like my specialty headbands. Um, this is just like a little basket full of headbands. These are some of my little black purses. And then um, my makeup is down here. And then this is like a thing full of my slides. And this is makeup here. Why is it blurry? That's makeup there. And then that's just like some miscellaneous stuff. All this stuff will go in drawers once, you know, I get some. Um, then it's a couple pair of my sneakers. Right here, I need to go get the rest of them They're in the mud room, but 
that's just a couple and then y'all know these just my shoes over here um yeah and i need to get some shells some more shell it's just oh so much but yeah that's the gist of it i am exhausted i'm getting ready to go <sighs> take a hot shower and get in the bed i will see you guys tomorrow Hey guys, so it's the next day and we are on our way to West Elm. I want to look at some rugs there um, before I place my order. And yeah, so just a quick little outfit of the day. Nothing special, but just a little black, um, what is this thing called? Bodysuit. Um, some little white sweatpants and then I got on some Yeezys and I'll probably end up changing them. And this is that little... That little black bag that I um, showed you guys in one of the vlogs before that I couldn't believe I bought it. But anyway, I thought it was cute with this. But um, I think I'm going to change these because um, it's raining outside. So, and they're new. As you can see, the tag is still on there. So, my husband doesn't want me to mess them up. He's a sneakerhead. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys just heard, but he just started the car. So let me go ahead. I need to get my swatch for my sofa. I had to tell you guys about the sofa situation later, but um, I need to get my swatch for my sofa. Um, and then you can see over here, I've been measuring. This is, I'm gonna do a console table here. I hate that vent right there behind my sofa. So gotta change that. I mean, gotta cover that best way I can. Of course, I'm not going to cover the vent, but I'm going to have something over it so it's not such an eyesore. Um, so, yeah, I'm ordering the console. Hopefully, they have it at the store and I can see it. But, um, yeah, so I have to tell you guys about the sofa situation later. But, yeah, he's rushing me, so I'll see you guys at the store. So that was a fail. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to um, talk to you guys in there because it was music playing and, you know, copyright infringement. So anyway, um, y'all saw the console. It's a no. I don't know why I didn't realize that it's metal. I thought it was wood, but it's solid metal. I hated the handles. It just looks extremely cheap to me and it's $500. Like, why? So, yeah, no. I feel like I could go on Wayfair and find something better and it'd be like $125. So, I'm canceling that order. And I did like the rug, though. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, place the order for that. But I'm back to the drawing board for the console. Um, so, yeah. And there were a couple of light fixtures in there that I got some shots of that we're contemplating on um, for our bedroom and for our dining room. So, got some shots of those. And so, yeah, you guys are just going to have to wait and see. If we decide to get them, wait and see which ones go where. But, yeah. So, I guess we're going to head on home now. Um, 
my husband went with my daughter to Sweet Frog. I'm in the car with my other daughter and I'm um, just waiting for them. And then we're gonna go get my son and then we're gonna go home and cook some dinner. And I have some packages that I need to open as well. So yeah, see y'all when I get home. Okay y'all, so I'm back at home. I know it's kind of dark. I'm in the mud room. I'm about to go to the garage because um, I saw some paint out there. I have so much paint out here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but I saw some paint. Let me cut the light on. Oh, there we go. Um, I saw some paint out here. And I think I may want to paint either my bedroom or my office with. Um, it's actually a whole gallon, so we're going to see. I don't even know what I bought it for. Um, the color is agreeable gray, Sherman Williams. I need to look it up because if it's what I'm thinking it is, I can use it. Um, I can use it in my bedroom. And you'll see, I don't know if it's going to be in this vlog, but it'll probably be in the next vlog, what I plan on doing in the bedroom. But we are changing some things around in there. Um, so, yeah. But look at, look at all this paint, y'all. This is all paint. Like, this is crazy. Um... <laughs> The life of an interior designer, y'all. Like, it's crazy. Okay, I gotta find the paint that I need. I think it's this one back here. Ooh, yeah, cause it's heavy. Ooh. So yeah, so agreeable gray. So looking at the color on top, I think it's gonna be a good match. So. Yeah, I'm kind of excited because I thought I was going to have to go buy paint and I don't. So that's kind of exciting. Um, Interior, garage, door. So yeah. I also want to open up. Whew, I also want to open up my vacuum cleaner. <sighs> yeah, I had to order a new vacuum cleaner because um, what is it called? The jar, oh, excuse me. The jar of minced garlic fell out of my refrigerator and broke on the floor and my children didn't even bother coming to get me to clean it up. They went and got my vacuum cleaner and vacuumed it up and completely ruined the vacuum cleaner. There was no way of getting that garlic. I mean, it was all in the motor. It was just, it was horrible. And so, y'all know once you get, like, garlic smell and anything, it's a wrap. Y'all, I had to scrub my floors with vinegar three or four times. It was horrible. It was a mess, a hot mess. And then I was so upset over my vacuum. So, turn around and order. I think it's the same one. Is it the same one, babe? I think it's the same vacuum. Let me cut my lights on. So it is gonna be a little bit yellow, y'all, because of my chandelier lights. But I love the warm yellow. Like I love the warm, um, the warmth that it gives off. The warmth that it gives off. So yeah, let's open this up and see what I got. Cause I can't remember which one we had the Dyson Cyclone. What was it? A V8, V10? What was it? You remember? I think it's called a Dyson Cyclone V10. Um, and so they stopped making it, but we went on... What website did we get this out of? Juwan. What website did we get the vacuum off of? Huh? What website did we get the vacuum off of? Dyson. Oh, okay. So we went to Dyson and we got it and it was actually on sale. Um, I guess because they discontinued it. So we went on Dyson.com and got it. I really, really liked the vacuum. So I, I was so upset, but I'm glad we got another one. And yeah, so I'm about to open it back up. And what is this? I don't even know what half this stuff is. 
Okay, so let's open this up. Okay. Yeah, I like the little crooked situation up here. Okay, I'll oh, maybe I can sit you up here. Yeah, now you can sit me back. Okay, so let's open this. I don't even know what happens. Y'all know I'm always ordering something and don't ever know what it is. This is like my life story. Oh, wait a minute, I think. Okay. So actually, this is a book um, that I found from a fellow, a fellow, a fellow content creator. Um, I actually just met her recently on Instagram. She's so cool. Uh, her name is Victoria Victoria. So if you're not following her, go follow her. I will leave her link up here, but she's very inspirational. And she talks about um, self-care. She brought up this book about manifesting, manifestation um, in one of her videos. And I had to get it. And she said that the book changed her life. And so, yeah, love her. She was talking about how, like, when you manifest, it's more than just fantasizing. She was saying it's deeper than that. And that you actually want to meditate after you manifest. And she was saying that, you know, you want to take about 30 minutes to manifest. And it's more about going deeper and actually like visualizing yourself there and how you feel when you're there where you want to be in life. Um, how you feel, how grateful, how grateful you are when you're there and the things that you will do once you get to where you want to be um so all of those things come into play when you're manifesting and then she was saying that after that then you want to um, meditate and that's basically just sitting in silence she said for about 30 minutes and it's just god speaking to you and you just opening up the doors to allow god to, to come in and speak to you so it was very powerful i'll make sure i leave her video linked down below um, she's a, she's so sweet, but, um, yeah, had to get this book. It's called The Secret, and I'll leave this link as well. It's, um, from Amazon, so, yeah. Got that. I'm hoping, okay, yeah, this is the vacuum. Y'all, I've been without my vacuum for a week, two, almost two weeks. Y'all know, if you don't know, if if you don't know, I'm a clean freak, okay? So I've been going crazy, literally. I'm like, my kids been wanting to play with sand, play though. I'm like, no, I don't have a vacuum. No, I don't have a vacuum. <laughs> We've been sweeping like crazy, like crazy people. My mom gave me like a little handheld Dyson vacuum. I, we went to the beach, came home, sand was everywhere. I didn't have a vacuum, y'all. It was a mess. A mess. So I was literally like sweeping sand. If y'all know, Y'all already know that's pointless, right? So I was sweeping, sand, then I had to mop. Then I would sweep again, then I had to mop. Like, it, a mess. A mess. So I'm just so grateful that it's finally here. You never know how much you need a vacuum until you don't have one, honestly. Especially when you have little kids. This thing is. Ugh. Okay, so I don't, why don't they put the name of the vacuum cleaner on the package? So I can tell y'all what it is. I want to say it's, I want to say it's a light one. Oh, I gotta put this thing together. Okay, but it is. Yeah, okay, so it's the Dyson Cyclone V10. I love this thing. 
It comes with so many attachments, y'all. Like, so... I don't even remember getting this one the last time. I don't even know what this goes to. Y'all know what this is? I don't, I don't remember having that one the last time. But it has everything for your furniture. Oh, babe, you did say that it was some new attachments. I thought you said... Because I guess it's a, a newer edition from the one that we had before, even though they don't even make them anymore. So this is like the, the main stick thing, suction everything. Yeah. And this is, this is the motor. Oh, it's already charged. Perfect. I can get the vacuum. <laughs> I can get to vacuum in. Ooh, okay, so yeah, this is a different color. Because then our last one was gray. This was gray. So I like that. It looks fancy. Fancy girl. She's a fancy girl. Let me open this thing. Hey, you see the color? You like that? So, I know you just attach it here. Mm hmm. Didn't you say it had new attachments? She still has like 15 attachments. 15 attachments? Because I was like, what is this? That's to get the hard to reach spot. Oh, to get the crown molding? Okay, so he was saying that this is the the piece that you use to get like the crown molding or your ceilings. So, yeah, I didn't have that last time. And then, I don't even know what this, yeah, I didn't have this either. Now, I did have this one, because this one is for the, this one is for your hardwood floors or your LVPs or whatever you may have. So you see how it's soft. So yeah, this is what I use on my floors. This one. Okay, this one is for the carpet. Let's see how it has the fringe. I mean that fringe. How it has the um, it's basically plastic. Um, but it has like the brushes in it. So yeah, that's for the carpet. This one. Oh, that's the charger. And we also ordered a docking station because we didn't have one before and I was literally um, housing like all these extra components in like a basket and it was just like overwhelming and it was just like fucking my nerves. Okay, so this is like the smaller carpet one. So you probably could do like your car with this one. Yeah. Or even furniture. Well, no, I wouldn't do that on furniture. But your car. Um, and then, so these are for like furniture right here. See, I had this one before, but yeah. And get it open, okay. So yeah, like that one is for furniture for sure. And then these, y'all know this is like the small one to get like the little corners and stuff. Or I use this for, I use this for my baseboards before I wipe them down. Um, or if we got a bug or something, because Lauren ain't touching no bugs. <laughs> and then this is just a bigger version of, or a wider version of this one for your furniture. Um, so more. And then you got so many more. Okay, so then you have like the actual docking station where you can hang it up on your wall with the charger and sorry I had to clear some memory but what I was saying was this is um the actual docking station where you hang it on the wall and you can put your charger in here in your vacuum and it charges on the wall and then it has two little inserts here for like some of the attachments but and I had this before but I didn't 
use it because well i mean i guess i could have but it was the whole point of what about the rest of the attachments you know so that's why i was like i just put them in a basket and i was over it but now we we ordered a different docking station that came separately if i can find it did it come let me see if i can find it okay so ugh, i found it y'all it came in this big box here and it's the docking station I'm supposed to be able to sit it on the floor or can we hang it up no it goes on the floor but it holds it holds all of the attachments. Well, this is telling you what not to do. Where's the picture of what to do? Of what to do? Of what it looked like? So basically, you can see it here. You hold all the attachments there. And it even has the charger attached, so you can just plug it in. And I'm just gonna keep it in my laundry room. Um, with the I keep my vacuum in my mud room. But the actual attachments and docking station, all that, I'm going to leave that in the laundry room. Y'all, this thing is heavy. It's heavy. So. Oh, okay. So these must be the rest of the... They sent us the same... These are the same... We already got one. The same attachments. And with the docking station. So now we got triple everything because we still got the ones from the last vacuum cleaner. I mean, I guess you can't have too many, but then that means I gotta use the basket again because I can't. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. Yup, y'all, they sent all the same attachments. Look at this. Wow. Same exact. And get out the box. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Same exact attachment. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and then I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when I'm done. Oh my God, y'all. The directions is in Chinese. I'm not lying. Okay, y'all. So we're almost there. But I wanted to show you guys this little piece that goes in here. It slides out. But I just thought this was so neat because I didn't see it online because my husband ordered it. So I didn't see it. But um, it holds like all the different, it has compartments for each piece. So I thought that was so neat. So let's put it in there. Even though I have doubles. <laughs> um, I don't even know which one is. The, oh no, that's the double. Let's see. Okay, that's that's not it either. Okay, I gotta figure out the other pieces. What is happening? I got a whole thing right here that I didn't open yet. Okay, and then this this piece here goes here. So look at that. Look how neat that is. And then you just close it up. And let me tilt y'all down so you can see. And then you just slide it in just like this like how cool is that so cool and then up here oh, let's zoom you in okay so right there right here is the charger and you thread it I'm breaking up stuff. You thread it through the back, and so it only has like a little bit left here so that you can plug it in the wall. 
which is really cool and compact. And then you have these on the side to put the rest of the attachment. So yeah, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish, let me zoom y'all back. So yeah, I'm gonna finish putting it together and then I'll show you guys when it's completely done and we can put it away. Okay, y'all, so this is the final results. I really, really like it, really like it. We decided to put it in the mud room and not in the laundry room because I really use it downstairs the most. So I guess eventually I plan on doing like a bench and stuff on this wall, you know, and you know, some hooks and all of that. And maybe I'll get a carpenter in here to build like a closet to put like the vacuum and the broom and stuff in. That would make sense. So yeah, maybe that'll come down later, come later down the line. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys real quick um, what it looks like. So as you can see, all the attachments, even the extra ones, they had extra spaces for me to put it. So I was able to put the extra ones on the thing. So yeah, it worked out really well. I really like it. And literally all you do is just lift this up here. And then as you can see, that's the charger. So I just put it back in. And you see how it's lighting up. That means it's charging. And yeah, that's it. So, I wanted to show you guys that. Now, I need to go figure out this paint situation. I don't even know if I have any rollers or anything. But, yeah. I want to do a swatch to make sure I like the paint color. Hey, guys. So, apparently, in the last clip, um... I ran out of memory again <laughs> so this is actually the next day and i just got finished editing the vlog but i realized that i didn't say goodbye or anything i didn't end the vlog correctly because like i said i ran out of memory and i guess i was just tired but anyway just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and yeah i will see you guys in the next one on uh, the next one, we will be removing this wallpaper behind us and um, doing some other things around the house. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned and see you guys next time.